Riding in a bus is kind of an idea that we came up with on a whim one night and so we were searching throughout the week on Facebook Marketplace for buses. This was definitely the first one we looked at. We knew it was perfect. Just really being able to customize it fully versus a pre-built RV. And the space is perfect for us to have a shop and our dogs, so it really works out well for us. And Lauren was a, a school teacher be, before we hit the road, so it was kind of full circle. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> hey, I'm Lauren. And I'm Joe. And we live in the school bus with our five dogs. We've been on the road for about nine months and in the bus for about two years. This is our kitchen area. For a while, we had a really small kind of camper sink and a small faucet, which is really hard to deal with with all the dishes. So we ended up thrifting this really deep sink, which is such a lifesaver. We have two magnet strips up here, which is really helpful for keeping the utensils from shaking all around in the drawers when we're driving. Keeps it easy access. So this is our cook stove. It's worked really, really well for us. It runs on propane and the propane tank in the back lasts us about a month and it runs our stove and our hot water heater for our shower. This is another thrifted piece of furniture which we keep our linens in, towels and sheets. And then below we have our dog food. Um, it keeps it nice and tucked away so that it's not spilling over when we drive. And then this is our dry food pantry. So we keep all of our, you know, rice and coffee and sugar, all of our dry food pantry pieces. So this is our bathroom and our door is on a slider and we have a full size shower and a self-made composting toilet in here. It's just a bucket and a urine diverter and I would definitely recommend doing this. It costs us about $40 versus a thousand, so definitely worth it. One of our favorite parts of the bus, it's like a little shower oasis. We have a hot water heater on the other side and then this is kind of our sink where we are able to brush our teeth. And then we have a low flow shower head which goes down to a half gallon per minute. So we're able to take a long shower and not waste a lot of water. We have some adopted dogs and some old dogs. This is Izzy, Dora, Benji, Lucy, and Janie over there. We have a queen size bed and a little bit of extra space over there for our feet, but our dogs do for the most part sleep up here with us and we make it work. This is our marine cooler fridge. We actually took it out of our old camper van and put it in here. It is really, really nice and allows a lot of room for fresh veggies. This side emergency door is probably one of our favorite things about the bus. It's great for us because we get to just leave this open, let the air flow through, and I don't know, honestly, the more windows and doors we have open, the bigger the space feels in general. So yeah, we love it. Where our emergency exits were, we have two skylights throughout the bus, which are really awesome to let some nice light in. We put this exhaust stand up here um, in the summer with the engine heat, it gets really hot. So this is really awesome to vent out some of that summer heat. bus for $12,000 um, originally it was they, the original owners had already had the ceilings and the floors put in um, and the seats were taken out and we put an additional three or four thousand dollars into it um, to finish our renovations as far as like putting a shower in putting a bed in and so our total investment is about fifteen thousand sixteen thousand dollars we found it on facebook marketplace and yeah the bulk of that expense that we added is for our solar and generator most of the stuff we put in is thrifted so it was really low cost for the most part we made these curtains for the bus and they have fleece as a moisture barrier for the winter when it condensates and then we have this eco blackout fabric to keep it really cool during the summer. For our ceiling, we have some cedar planks, tongue and groove, they just really snap together. And then they're attached to the ribs of the bus with just some self-drilling screws. And we have these touch LED lights. We love these because it gives off a warm light and at night it gives a nice homey feel. 
And then behind the cedar planks is all spray foam. Behind the walls, uh, behind the ceiling, it's really just all spray foam. This is our overhead storage. We use a lot of jars to store food and drink out of. And then while we're driving, we just put this cord up to keep this cabinet back. So this is kind of our living area where we picked up these filing cabinets and put some decal or decoration on them. Um, this holds all of our online shop storage. And then we keep our shoes in these. These are really nice because they lock shut. So when we're driving, they don't open up. We just recently thrifted this piece. A lot of the furniture in here is thrifted. And this also has like more shop storage. We really enjoy thrifting. It's something that we also do for our shop, but it also allows us to really be able to exchange pieces. If this piece stops working for us, we can easily uh, re-donate it and get another thrifted piece in here. So in our shop, we sell um, ethically made clothing. So it's all handmade from Nepal and India, and we store it all in our bus and sell it online. For fire safety in the bus, we have these Quora distribution fireballs. And what happens is when they come in contact with flame, they explode a dry chemical that extinguishes the fire. So we have these planted all over our bus in areas that are fire risk, like the engine and our solar batteries and near our cook stove. So these are really awesome. So our flooring is uh, a type of laminate tongue and groove flooring that just snaps together. Um, and in the last two years with our four or five dogs, it's, it's held through all tests. <laughs> some jackets and some packs um, hung up here just on some random cup hooks, but uh, this is my locker. Uh, well, it really just holds all my, my clothes. So our bus is a 2001 uh, International Bluebird. It has a DT um, 466 in it. It was rebuilt when we when we first purchased the bus and it's ran like a champ ever since. It gets about anywhere between eight and 12 miles to the gallon depending on how hard you drive it. And we only had to replace the starter since hitting the road. And other than that, driving is a breeze. We can really park it anywhere. Uh, we don't really feel like having a big bus is hindering us from parking anywhere. So, and Lauren loves driving it. I love driving it. It's cool. I think we've put about 25 or 30,000 miles on it in the last year or so. So anyone that's looking to go into the bus life, don't think about it. You don't you don't need to think about it too much. Uh, yeah. That's definitely one thing that we like to point out. Yeah, it's definitely hard to plan for something that's a little bit off the beaten path. And I definitely like to suggest that people join Facebook groups and really get to ask those super niche questions about like plumbing in a tiny home and that sort of thing so you can start to understand how solar works and all that stuff. Here we have some uh, Talavera tiles that we got from Amazon. They're super cheap and they come usually broken like this, but some of them will be still intact. So it's really cool because you get them for cheap and they're beautiful. And uh, Lauren put this together. This is our front door and uh, we have a little keypad lock for that. And these windows were put here because in Maryland uh, for inspection, you need to be able to see through uh, this door here while you're driving. So so this is one of our freshwater tank fill-ups. This one is a 20 gallon tank and we have a 40 gallon tank under the, under the bed and it lasts us about six days or so. This is our diesel heater tank fill-up area. Uh, we used to have a wood stove. We tried propane heating before and um, what else? We, electric heaters, but the diesel heater has just uh, done us right and it'll cook us out in the middle of the night. So I totally recommend a diesel heater. So this is the back of our bus and where we have, it's kind of like our garage area, uh, where we have gas tanks, uh, extra diesel, propane, generator. So we're here on top of the bus and right now you're looking at two 300 watt solar panels and then two 100 watt 
panels for a total of 800 going into two 200 amp hour AGM batteries. So right now we're on our deck and it's about 80 square feet and we used pressure treated wood and really just plumbing fixtures from Home Depot to put it all together. These are our two underbelly boxes uh, that we use oh, to keep like just like messy stuff, tools and I don't know, hazardous things really. We absolutely love our bus. Yeah. I think the size is perfect. I love that we have a side door. Um, it's about 33 or 34 feet and it's a great size. I really love it. I think we have plenty of space and it's not too much and it's not too little. If you would like to find our shop, it is laurengardenbell.com slash shop. And then we also list our thrifted auctions on Instagram under the name Garden Bell Shop. Yeah. And we also have a project uh, that we're starting in the, the near future. Uh, we bought some land in West Virginia and we're going to be building a tiny house on the property and renting it out as an Air, Airbnb to further fund our travels. I'm Lauren. And I'm Joe. And we're the Garden Bells. And thank you so much for watching our tiny home tour. Uh, you can find our travels on Instagram and our links will be in the description below. Yeah, check them out. Mm -hmm.